I don't mind spending every day Out on your corner in the pouring rain now Look for the girl with the broken smile Ask her if she wants to stay a while And she will be happy And she will be ha happy And she will be happy Yes, she will be ha happy. Howdy, folks. How are you all doing? My name is Welcome back to Be Happy, the series where things are getting wild up in here. That was supposed to be a jump and a spin. That was that's what that was supposed to be, and it didn't quite work out. But uh, welcome back. Last time you all uh, congregated around these here fair halls, we built ourselves a furnace, a cobble gym, and then I said we we're going to get really crazy in the near future and do some truly nutty stuff, including relocating all of our base of operations over to this separate island. And I know some of you might have thought that idea was a little bit crazy, but I've not given up on it yet. I kind of like that idea because I've already gone, like there's already, what am I going to do? Am I going to make a trail of dirt over here and use that to, actually, yeah, that's not the worst idea. That is not actually the worst idea. And then just have Cluckety McDuckety move over there. That would be easier because I've already got the fires here and then I have to me remake them if I moved them over there and... I acknowledge that that is the better idea. That's what we're gonna, that's actually what we're gonna do. How much dirt do we have? We need a lot more dirt is the issue. We're gonna need to make a ton more dirt. Can you get to work making me dirt? Where is dirt? Where, like there's so much dirt here. I wanna make it specifically out of leaves though. If you could do that and then also you would focus on doing that too so we can just maximize the amount of dirt we're getting. I gotta remember in future to uh, go ahead and sleep, you know? That's something we need to prioritize. I'm going to start, before I start work on expanding the platform, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start putting the dirt down so that it can start growing the grass as I build. So we do currently have 12 dirt, and we're going to have to just be mindful of going over here and collecting this dirt as it grows. And also be mindful of the fact that anytime I run by the saplings, there's an opportunity there for them to just decide that that energy, they're going to use that energy, they're going to focus that energy into uh, creating a large tree, which is a big, wonderful, beautiful thing that it does sometimes. Look at that down there. That's beautiful. That, that was just an accident is what that was, and I love it. Hey, my gosh, you know what we can make now? Now that we can make uh, infinite amounts of uh, the, the old, old, the, the old sailor. That's a reference. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what that one he is. The old sailor. Oh, should I just tell you? At some point, I'm gonna have to stop asking you to guess my obscure. It's it, we're making a camp, guys. Anybody? Does anyone? I'm gonna make a camp, guys. Does anyone know what I'm talking about right now? No. No. Um, have you got any hard? Well, never mind. It's an episode of the Yog Pod where they do a D and D. And Sips is making a camp, guys. That's what you need to know about it. That's that's the priority. Uh, great podcast, though. The OG right there, man. Let me tell you. So we're going to build that. We need to create sort of a safety so that no one falls off the edge when going between these. And we also probably need to... Oh, God! That's just there! That's just a hole! That's just a hole! I didn't even know it was there. I could have fallen through that at any point, and then what would have happened? Whoa, then what? What you gonna do when I am dead and I am through? Not gonna play this game anymore, then what? That that would be what happens, isn't it? I would just give up at that point. I would just leave. I would just say to heck with this. I am having fun. This is actually this is actually quite it's it's a nice change of pace from Tekken, which I'm also still enjoying, to be fair. And Tekken's not going anywhere. Uh, quash your concerns. Tech it's sticking around. I've got big plans for that series. There's a story happening there. A, a rather large one that's unfolding in a peculiar way. We're going to build this out like this. So that we can have the actual railing go one over. And I'm still building... That's the comma. That's dumb. We have a much better tool for it right here. I am still building the floor with the oak slabs, and yet I'm still not building them in a way that would prevent monsters from spawning. I could put them one block lower, 
and that would prevent monster spawns, and I'm simply not doing that. It's not that I am opposed to it. I even said previously that that would be a wise idea and recommended it to you. However, I am not doing it myself, and you can't make me nanner nanner boo boo. Take that. That's a whole lot of gates. It's a whole lot of gates. A whole, whole awful lot of something I didn't mean to build and, and didn't want and have no use for that I've just built there. That is an absolute embarrassment, and I don't know what to tell you. It's even kind of shaped a bit like a fence, isn't it? I think that's the idea with that design. Well, Shrek me. I don't know. Let's do this. I noticed the grass is still not spreading, and there's a part of me that's wandering, wandering? What, like I'm on a journey or something? No, there's a part of me that's wondering even, which is the much more sensible thing to say, and also the correct thing to say, and what I meant to say to begin with. There's a part of me that is curious whether or not it has something to do with the placement of this here oak fence. I'm hoping not. I mean, this one hasn't spread either, and it's surrounded all sides by grass. So we're just going to keep being patient, and I'm going to go ahead and extend this bad boy out so that it is the same length. And in, I mean, length is arbitrary, isn't it? Any of the directions could be length if I decided it. But I think that it, you tend to think of length as, well, what's the longest dimension? That's the length, but that's not necessarily the case. You know, like if I say television and length, what in your mind is the length of the TV? Well, you're thinking about how wide it is, aren't you? So am I, but, but then wouldn't that be width? But then width is how thick it is, right? But wouldn't that be depth? Oh, we're getting in a tricky situation here now, aren't we? None of us are sure what we're talking about anymore, and it's quite confusing. We're going to place this down here, add some more lights. Lights are important because, like I said, we're not preventing monsters from spawning with this current design for some reason. We could go as broad as we wanted to with this. <laughs> Just using all kinds of arbitrary uh, units of measurement. How how much depth do we want in this particular platform? Probably more than this uh, in the future, especially if this is going to be where we raise all of our little animals and potentially do farming in the future. But the thing is with this design is we can push on that way indefinitely. Uh, we are running out of dirt, though. We've only got two pieces left, and that's the thing. We're, we're going to need to be aggressive about this. Maybe I should make some more glass jars. More glass jars would actually probably be really good, considering the rate at which I can use my comma to collect leaves. And, oh my gosh, look at that. It's finally just now damaged enough to justify... You know what? We're not even going to get that cobblestone. We're going to leave that cobblestone in here. I'm going to go get this almost stack of cobblestone. Put it inside of here. Can we use cobblestone to get dirt in some way? What are my uses for cobblestone? I can make cobblestone walls. There's 25 pages of crafting things, which means there's 50 different things we can craft with cobblestone because there's two per page and I can do math. Green Portuguese pavement. If you're from Portugal, let me know what you think about that. Is that accurate to your pavement? And if not, uh, don't be mad at me. I didn't make the design. I'm just kind of going through here to see cobblestone arrow sled. What? That's fun. That might be useful for certain things. What are you, a basic bin? For what, the dis disposal of things? Axes aren't very interesting. We're gonna go through here until we find something really true. Oh, well, I mean, that's an actual trash can. Yeah, that'll just void items. I wanna find something really cool, like dirt, that I can, <laughs> you know, really cool things like dirt. But I'm not seeing anything like dirt in here. That's not, doesn't appear to be an option. So, can I turn cobblestone into gravel in some way? I think that I can. I don't remember how, though. Don't we need gravel for something? Or didn't we need gravel for something, period? Previously, even, is the word I'm thinking of? Gravel. Compressed gravel would make gravel, of course. If we had a crusher, that would make gravel. If we had a mana infuser, if we had a, oh, a other more different crusher. What about, what about the star? Would the star do something to gravel? Are cobblestone even? Are cobblestone? Will it do something to cobblestone even? Gosh, okay, let's find out. That's a chest. So far, it really doesn't look like it. It seems incredibly unlikely that anything interesting is going to happen here. That's a darn shame. Well, we should probably use the correct tool to collect it. And now we just have it in our inventory. We could be building things out of cobblestone if we wanted to, or we could cook it up into real stone, like normal stone, and then we should probably stop building everything out of out of slabs eventually. I don't know if we're out past that stage yet, though. We might still be within the, the slab stage of our operation, and we might be there for some time now. 
Uh, I'm not really sure at what point you decide cobblestone makes more sense. We will get there. We will get there in time. We're just not there yet. What was I saying we we're gonna do today? Oh, we're gonna plant some seeds and we're gonna try to spread some grass. Maybe we should use some of this wood to kind of widen this out a little bit. Instead of making the the depth over there greater. I'm gonna just like flirt real close to these holes just to make everyone super nervous. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say how thick we want this. So one, two, three, four. Maybe we make the inside of it. Hold on, how wide is it? It's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe we should go eleven by eleven. So let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm not counting the outside ones because that. I mean, I guess I could. One. Well, no, because I've already decided the inner inner diameter is eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then the outside. There we go. And then, the, and then here. And then we fill all of this in. And we're not going to have enough dirt to fill all of it in with dirt. And that's okay. We don't need to right now. What I want to do right now is just build the whole thing. Get it completely enclosed. And then we can let Cluckety McDuckety, which seems to be the name elect of our, our little chicken friend in there. Who's going to grow up with one serious crisis of identity having no idea what it is what species it is from whence it originated it's kind of like the ugly duckling except instead of being a swan that got mixed in with some ducks it's just a chicken and that's all that it is and it's gonna think like someday i'll grow up and be beautiful but it's not it's gonna someday grow up and end up like on a rotisserie and it's a real shame well first it's gonna be used for breeding non-stop breeding until we have a large it's gonna it's gonna have a miserable existence is what it's gonna have I actually weep for the poor little creature. We've given it a name. We need to, I guess, make a name tag for it. So we can make sure we never kill it. We just, we'll just use it for breeding indefinitely, I guess. I mean, in that sense, it's kind of like, what do they call it with horses? Like, is it a stud? Is that what you have? It might be with all animal breeding. I don't know. I've not done a lot of animal breeding in, in my time. Oh! Got a little bit, got a little bit finicky there for a minute. Things got a little bit dicey, got a little bit hairy back there. Uh, cluckety McDuckety, let me tell you. But I'm working on your home, buddy. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to absolutely love it. Scenic views like you wouldn't believe. Absolutely no protection from the rain. But the entire time we've been here, it's not even rained once. So, okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I, I can't get to that final piece of of wood, or, uh, yeah, well, dirt back there, but, you know, I mean, what's the difference? Wood and dirt are basically the same thing. I don't know any difference to you. Comma! And then, we don't break all the leaves, even though the, the comma is not broken, because we're always kind of hopeful we'll get an apple or two, uh, because an apple or two keeps the doctory do, as the Australians say. It's definitely something they say. I'm positive about it. I used to have a Patreon member, a patron, if you will, who was from Australia. Blood Elf? You guys remember Blood Elf? What a wild guy. What a wild, fun guy. And if he were here today, if he were still viewing, he would definitely check in to let us know that whatever I just said, which I've already forgotten because it was in my head and then I said it out of my mouth hole. And then it once it was, it literally traveled. Oh, I kind of spat a little bit there. That's disgusting. I am very well lubricated. I've had a lot of water today. But yeah, as soon as I said the word, like the, the words were formed in my head and then they came out of my mouth and therefore they were no longer in my head. I didn't save a copy. I don't know if you folks do that, but I, I didn't bother. I just, was it was it like a, a dollary do? It was something like that. At least that would have rhymed with it. It was something along those lines. I'm almost positive, but I'm not 100% certain. We're going to go ahead and build this up and we're going to continue to place these in intervals. So, and then we'll put one right here in the middle. Is that the middle? No. <laughs> Does it not have a middle? It should. It should have a middle. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, it has a middle. We did it right. We did it right. <laughs> Let's not walk off the edge here. Let's be careful. See, my concern now is that as we go, we're going to be getting more dirt that we can replace some of that wood with. And I'm worried at some point we're going to walk by there. We're going to walk over here, right? Oh, good. The grass is now spreading. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? These are going to have to go. Uh, it, they don't have to, but for the sake of consistency. 
I'm willing to lose one. There we go. Just, just for the sake of consistency. Although we could make it be three thick all the way through. And yeah, that does mean that I just wasted a dirt that we'll never get back. We'll worry about that later. Maybe that's a plan for later. I also wasted all of these little plank bits that we're now going to be breaking and potentially losing into the void forever. But that's okay. That's all right. Life finds a way. It goes on and on and on. And uh, I mean, it does eventually end, but boy, how do you're going to be waiting for it. This is going to take a long time. See, that's the issue with letting this one. Okay, you know what? No, I've, I've never mind. Executive decision. These sides are going out so that we can expand it and then potentially triple the rate at which dirt spreads. Now, you might say, Reese, I know how Minecraft works, and that is not it. I say you could be right, I may be crazy, but it also might be a lunatic, in fact, that you are looking for. And if that's the case, babe, you found the right place. Just call me Grandpuff the Lunatic. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you... <laughs> Stop! Stop the references here, people. That's not what we're here for today. We're here to we're here to spread the wonders of dirt and therefore grass. All right, Cluckety McDuckety. My concern now is that I'm going to let you out of there, and next time I break, I was, I was trying to say this earlier. I'm going to break one of these. And Cluckety's going to fall through the world, but it's time to set him free. It, well, he's going to burn himself, so we need to actually direct him across this way and get him over here first and make sure that he is safe. This entire video is just going to be relocating Cluckety to his new home. That's going to be the entire thing. Hey, I've just had a brilliant idea, and I want to run it past all of you. What if I relocated these over here so they weren't constantly in the way of these jars? Like, every time the tree grew. Wouldn't that be a swell? Also, I'm down to three apples, so we're going to start starving here soon if we don't find another source of sustenance. So maybe we should go ahead and start farming. Maybe we should have thought about having a water supply here as well that isn't just running down into nothing, but I didn't think about that at all. If I have water above the dirt, will it spread to the dirt? I don't know. I do need to get more water, though. So, where's that at? That's inside of you, right? Make me some water. Don't we already have an additional water, though? Like, didn't I say early? Wait, we used it for something. We used it to make clay. That's right. I remember now. All right, Cluckity, I know I said that I was going to let you out, and I still plan on it. I promise. It's still on my list of things to do today. But let me go ahead and make this connection first and get the grass spread across and then see Cluckety what I'm going to do is once the grass is all the way across there, I'm going to build a gate in the middle and I'm going to lure you across with some seeds if I have them. And then that way you'll be safely over there away from the fires that might burn your otherwise supple chickeny flesh, okay? So just remain calm and we're going to carry on. I need to check something here. This has nothing to do with the video. I'm just getting a flurry of messages. There we go. Okay. I see what it is now. Uh, my, my brother's supposed to be coming over so we can watch some Whale Lords, which is one of the best YouTube series ever made. If you've never watched the Yogg's Cast's Whale Lords, uh, it's good. It's really good. It's one of the best, I've got to say. I, I Particularly, it's one of my favorites. So if you've never seen it, give it a watch. Whale Lords, 40 episodes. It starts a little slow, but the thing is, it builds. And the way the momentum carries, it's just every episode is genuinely better than the last. And then it ends and you're sad. But it's good. And if you wanted to watch some other good Minecraft, you could start with like Trials of Scobles and then Trials of Derpules. And in fact, those kind of directly and directly lead into the uh, Whale Lords. Kind of. They're not like super integral though. You could literally not know that when you start. There's just like a single reference to it at the very beginning, and then you're on from there. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and take stock of our seed situation. I guess we should go ahead and plant the wheat, because we're going to need that anyway. We're going to need uh, barley, maybe? I don't know. Corn seeds could be tasty. Onion, spinach, rice, sadi root. That one's made up. That's not a real thing. <coughs> barley. Amaranth? That's a streamer. Hey, you know what? Amaranth gets views. I can put the, if I plant the amaranth seeds, I can reasonably put amaranth in the title of this video. Growing amaranth. It's, I think that's it's. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that. That's that's actually seems brilliant. I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. Let that keep going, and I guess right in the middle of here. Does it look longer than it is wide? Maybe that's my imagination. Oh, we never finished putting down all of the torches, did we? 
And then we determine one, two, three, four, five, and then the middle. That makes sense. If it's 11, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and then the middle. There we go. And so if I just stand in line with these torches, I'm, I'm in the middle. And then if I put the water here, Oh, right, the water's weird. Is it being placed below the world or something weird like that? I genuinely have no idea. But if we put down slabs like this, and I put the water there, and then we break that, and then we put that there. The one thing I don't want to do is have the water just be perpetually falling out of the world, because then the chicken might walk on top of it, go down the water stream, and then be dead. So my question is, if I now put... <laughs> I put that there, and then I, I I till the earth with the comma. I thought you did that with the matic. Apparently not. Will that become saturated? It certainly doesn't look like it. That's fine. What we can do then, in that case, is we'll have to build down underneath the world, and we will have to create some sort of a, a some sort of a construct underneath the water. Stop that. Actually, you know what? No, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, we'll have to build some kind of a construct to keep. Oh, apparently that worked. But why, though? Like, but why? What are the... I know you can put the water underneath it, and that technically works. I want to build some something underneath here, like some kind of a hook or something. Let's see. We just need to go one layer below. This is going to get risky. Let's take everything that I have, though, on this adventure. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Nope, 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 nope. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Uh, collect you. And now if we get rid of these slabs, what we will find is that that should be safe there. You should be able to safely stand right there. Yeah. So we can actually get rid of that slab too if we wanted to. I don't think the chicken can fall out of there. But also, I don't know. I, I genuinely have no clue what may happen. We'll have to just wait. I, I suppose it's just going to be an issue of uh, experimentation, isn't it? We're just going to have to let Cluckety McDuckety go over there. Hey, you know what? If we get more chickens, we can use some of those other chicken names. I just realized we'll take like second and third place. Although keep in mind at some point, some of these chickens will be eaten. So that's, that's sort of a dark prospect, I, I realize, for a lot of you. Well, there goes the stone comma. Time for the stone question mark. Nah, we'll just rebuild it. It's fine. Wonderful. Hey, is this a mod? Does this, does this one have the mod that lets you do this with your vanilla tools? It doesn't. I'm telling you right now that it does not. I can confirm. What's happening? I can't get my stuff put down normally. Okay. So let's go ahead and plant a little bit of wheat. Oh, a seedy place. That's funny. There you go. There's the amaranth for everyone. There's two of them, just like amaranths. Well, uh, and then finally, we are going to have a look at our guide to see what exactly the game wants me to do next. So we went down the route of the cobble gin, and obviously there are different tiers to that that we could build. There's also the crusher, which we can build using smooth stone, regular stone, and a cast iron gear, which... We know what that's all about, but uh, can, you, can you take me actually back to that recipe? Let's save it. And the crusher can be used to turn cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, stone into cobblestone, which feels like we're taking a step back, and then obsidian into obsidian dust. No idea how you power it, but I guess this is the next thing we need to build after we're done growing amaranth back out in the, in the back garden, which is something that I'm sure a lot of young men have dreamt about doing. Amaranth is a streamer. <laughs> I'm going to be super embarrassed if I finish this and I find out that there is no streamer called Amaranth. Or that it's something similar, but not quite that. I'm not actually going to be super embarrassed. 
I'm gonna post the video anyway, and then I'm gonna own the meme, the mistake of the meme, because that's funnier anyway. It's like when I was like, oh my gosh, it's Alma in the trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3's big DLC, the uh, Future Redeemed. I'm like, is that is that Alma? And everyone's like, do you mean Alma with an E, you moron? And I was like, <clears throat> yeah, but that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That, oh my gosh! And I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? You haven't. You're new. You're new to this world. Hey, look, there's the Amaranth. It's growing real good. Look at this. You can right-click to harvest. Look at all this Amaranth I've got. What do you do with it? Oh my gosh, the wheat's harvestable too already? That's wonderful. We can plant more wheat in place of the Amaranth. What do you do with this? What is the purpose of this? I can make a harvesting drone? What? I could also make a witch's food cake, which is fun. I could put it in a... Oh, I can use it to get dirt. Trade it to a villager. Turn it into an amaranth bale inside of a multi-servo press. Can I eat it? Is it edible? It doesn't appear to be edible. Well, that's unfortunate. And I've got so much more amaranth seed. Well, I made Amaranth. I, hopefully you boys enjoyed it. And, and as for you girls, I don't know, maybe you got a kick out of it too. I, I'm not sure. At some point I'm going to have to Google Amaranth. And verify that that is a person that exists. And then that's just going to be in my, my search results. <sighs> Alright, we'll put that away. What, barley? What can you do with barley? I'm assuming it grows, like, barley. I've, I've, got, I've got some ideas of what you can do with barley. Can you? Wait a minute. I think I'm just realizing something here, folks. I think I'm just realizing something that if we had realized this sooner, it would have saved us a ton of time. You know how you can, the, you can get down and dirty with your hips and it gets the trees all excited and they grow faster? I'm thinking you can do the same with wheat. And in fact, I'm pretty sure I knew that from previous mod packs and somehow forgot it. Folks, imagine if we had utilized this ability sooner, just for a moment, just imagine if we had done this sooner, how much quicker we could have planted the first seed we got and gotten wheat and gotten more seeds and then done that again and again and again and again until we were able to make the chicken seed. All of that effort. See, this is what's great about this series is not only are you all learning by playing along at home, which you should be, you're also learning what not to do by watching my mistakes and marveling at my ignorance and and you know you're oh my gosh i can't believe you did something so dumb and then you don't have to do it even though you didn't know it either you can be like i, I didn't know either see now the issue is that we can't let that chicken out because we're going to plant two more chickens can i are you kidding me seriously this whole time okay all right hold on let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves here we need some more gates we need some more fencing this this changes everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to delete the last several episodes of this series and reshoot them. I'm not going to do that. That would be ridiculous. But it would be kind of funny if I did. Can you imagine? All right. So we want those like that, and then this down the middle. But then add a couple more, and then give me them. And then that's more than we need. What I'm gonna do is uh, the grass hasn't quite made it across there yet. The goal is to have a double fence so that the chickens can't, like, get past when I'm not paying attention. If I, like, open the gate and they're waiting for me, there's still, like, a whole second area. I can shoo them back in. I don't think the fence makes a difference because it clearly passed through that fence. But now I'm at a point of paranoia with the whole situation. So I'm going to just wait it out. I show up the chickens don't immediately come in here and start eating all of my, my crops. I need this barley. I don't know why or what for, but I do probably need it at some point. Here's a question. First off, why did I do that? That's foolishness. That's ignorance to the extreme. Secondly, what can I do with wheat? I mean, I know I can turn it into just bog standard bread. But sometimes in these packs, you can turn the wheat into flour, and then the flour, see, like in a grindstone possibly, or inside of a pressure chamber, or a crusher, or a multi servo press. You can do all kinds of different things in a tempered jar. Dirt. Everything's dirt. That's all they know. That's all they know. You can make flour if you have a pulse centrifuge which we don't. Uh, you could make flour inside of a quartz grindstone, which is an option for the future. We could probably build one of those. But then also, you can probably just make regular like bread with it, I'm assuming, right? Just going through the recipes. 
We could make cow seeds. Really? A cow? Oh, I'm down for that. I love cows. What is that? Hold on. Sheep seeds? Cookies? We can't make cookies right now. That's not an option. Or we could just make some bread. Okay, well, I'm very hungry. But I've now been enticed by the concept of making other animals out of, out of wheat. So simple a caveman could do it. Sheep. And then what was the cow one again? Let's see. Cow seeds? There we go. Beautiful. I'll worry about everything else later. I'll worry about literally... I mean, I'll need to make more sheep and I'll need to make more cows. But for right now... I mean, you've got to admit, this is more interesting than Amaranth. I, I don't know what an Amaranth stream looks like. I, I, mean, I don't mean my video is. I mean that the plant Amaranth is not nearly as interesting as... Uh, well, what we've done here. What do we do? Punch these? Is that right? And they come out as little chickadees. Okay. We need to get name tags at some point. Is there a way to build those? Name. Tags. Okay. Well, we can mana infuse if we have an alchemy catalyst and a... Okay, that's ridiculous. 20 emeralds, eh? Don't know about that. Inscriber name press. Nah, that seems different. Mob filter names. Don't know about that either. Maybe we'll just, like not name any of these and we'll stick a nameplate on that one and that'll be good enough. Cluckety McDuckety will be remembered forever, but uh, for in the meantime, get out of there, you. Welcome to the world. It's a cruel place. It's just gonna be rain on you because I haven't built a roof. I don't have any food for you. You have no parents. Your abominations of science is what you are. I'm gonna teach you to twerk and you're gonna grow my plants for me, you large-headed mutant monsters. And you're gonna like it. You're gonna have a smile on your face as you do it. And you're gonna sing a little song. You're gonna sing a little ditty. What happened to the barley? Have we figured out what to do with that yet? Are we just growing barley for the, the barley of it? What do you do with barley? You can make a barley bale. Once again with the harvesting drone. I guarantee you it can be used to make... Oh, a hearty stew. That's lovely. It could probably be used to make dirt. Yeah. No, don't go that way, cow. You're not welcome there. No, no. no. See, this is why we have the double... This is why we have the double fence in the works. No, neither of you are allowed over there. Look, everything you need is back here. There's water and plants and dirt and there's grass on the way. There's absolutely no reason for you to want to be over here. This is a place of danger. This is a place of science. I need you all to get back. I'm gonna go through this gate. I don't want you to follow. You son of a gun. I gave you one simple instruction. Where are you going? What are you doing? What, do you want to go in there with them? You can't, I'm not allowing it. You're going to burn yourself to death. And I'm not going to feel sorry for you. It's going to be your fault, and I'm not going to do anything about it. You've made this terrible decision. This is on you now. Oh, gosh. They're all trying to do it. They're all trying to do Do I have regular seeds? Come here. Come here. Come here, all of you. Come through here. Come through here. Cow! I'll deal with you in a minute. You come back here. Both of you come back here. All right? You're going to stay and... No, don't go! There's nothing for you over there! Why are you being this way? Come on. Come on, little sheep. Come on. Thank you. The two of you as well. The two of you as well. Get in here. Get them. Bless them. They're starving. No! Why? There's nothing to be gained. Come on. Come on. Stop trying to go over there. Come over here. Look out. Look out. Look out there at the horizon. Look at all the beauty in the world. They're trying to get to their other chicken friend is what's going on there. They're trying to, like, they're, they're going to try to do, like, a prison escape at some point. Get back in here, little guy. Maybe this is, maybe I shouldn't be so mean to them about their clearly malformed and misshapen heads. Maybe I'm the bad guy. Okay, I'll admit that that's probably the case. I'm going to go ahead and harvest all of this. And we're going to go make the rest of the animals real quick. Need to harvest all of this. I don't think that the, for whatever reason, the barley doesn't appear to be replanting itself, which is fine, because you know what? There's no reason to have barley, as far as I can tell, because I'm not going to make a hearty stew or anything like that. So we've got, I think, probably enough wheat to, I mean, what's missing? What? You know what? There's probably a whole quest line about it, isn't there? There appears to be, at least. It's not on this page, but is it under, like, animal crops? Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's horses and cats and donkeys and foxes and rabbits. Oh my... I really just care about right now. I mean, I guess cows and sheep are all we really needed. Sheep have wool. Cows have leather. I'm carrying seeds. That would have been on me if they had gotten out. We did not need to come over here to do this. 
because I now realize that I have a crafting thing in my inventory that we can use at any time. And if you spell sheep correctly, you're much more likely... I'm sorry, is that a sheep thief? That is a sheep bee. That is a that is a thing. That is a thing that we are looking at. All right, everyone. Say hello to your to your new kin. These are your your fellow your brother and sisters in scientific abomination. And you're all gonna, you're all gonna mate with each other. I didn't mean to punch you. I'm very sorry. That was actually I'm very frustrated with you, and I've I've wanted to hit you, <laughs> but I wasn't going to because I'm not a monster. That was actually an accident. I'm sorry. I hope that you recover from it. I don't actually know if you will recover from it, nor do I care. You know what? I'm actually thinking about discontinuing you. I'm thinking about replacing you with the new model. That's what I'm going to make new chicken seeds. No, no. Look, literally, there's no reason. I don't understand your fascination. Get through here. No. Why? Why? It is. The, it's got to be the grass, right? Like we can all agree it's got to be the grass. But there's, there's going to be grass here soon, too, okay? I promise you, there's going to be grass here, too. It's right there. It's coming. You just got to learn to be patient. Just like you folks need to learn to be patient for the next episode, which will be coming out soon. In which we're going to... I mean, we've got this done now. It's beautiful. It's covered in animals. We need to build the monster spawner and get to work on that. We need to build this automated jar system. Maybe we should make a list in the next episode of all the things we need to do. Definitely... Oh, the grass isn't going to grow in here if they're going to eat it the second it pops in. Oh, these animals! Okay. Uh, grass is, is, is growing. We need to automate the jars. We need to get monsters spawning. We've got to build a crusher. It's very intent that we do that. It's insistent on that. It seems to want me to make prismarine as well. And at some point, we need to make an empty DNA strand, a clay shears, and a ceramic shears. I don't know why it wants that, but it could be fun. So, oh. Thank you, folks, for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.